If you have seen this pop up in your iPhone or iPad, then hackers have already hacked your network and it could be either home or office network, but your internet router is infected with a DNS hijacking attack and it is important that you take back the control of your network. Hi, I'm Robin and in this video we will be fixing the DNS hijacking problem that is quite sophisticated and targeting the innocent iPhone and iPad users as well. DNS is more like the directory for the internet. It translates your alphanumerical website address to the IP address and it takes care of all the technical part for routing you to the actual location of that particular IP address. When the DNS is hijacked, it is possible for the hackers to reroute you to their fake login page which we call it as phishing attack. So it is important that DNS hijack is pretty serious in today's scenario because it can hack into a network router and it can listen to all the devices that is connected to that network including CCTV cameras, smart televisions and your internet uh, of things devices, any IoT devices, also your iPhone and iPad which is very secure against uh, most of the uh, viruses and worms that could spread through internet. Finding whether your internet router is already hacked by hackers or not is pretty easy. Simply look at the bottom of the internet router or modem that you have at your home or office and there will be uh, the details about your address where you can access that particular router page and then the username and password to log in and access the settings of that particular internet router. So enter the details in a web browser after connecting the, uh, your laptop to that particular network router. In my case I am using the TP-Link internet router. Uh, it could be D-Link or any other router but the settings will be same. So in the DHCP settings area you will be seeing the primary DNS and secondary DNS. In most cases it will be 0.0.0.0. .0. If there are any other IP addresses, specifically the IP addresses that I am right now showing you on the screen, 171.244.33.114 and 116, the last three digits of the IP address. So if the primary DNS and secondary DNS have been altered to these IP addresses, when we do the IP2 location uh, for finding the location of the service, it takes us to the uh, location Vietnam. So possibly the server that stores all our data could be in Vietnam. But the email address that the safety certificate which prompts uh, on your iPhone or iPad will show that it is a Japanese email address developer account that is used for uh, installing the iOS profile uh, in, in order to collect the data. So the attacker could be trying to use use the proxy setup uh, you know to not able to precisely locate him so if you are seeing any of these two IP addresses in your primary uh, DNS or both of these then your uh, router is already hijacked by the hacker and it is important to remove that uh, two IP addresses and set it as 0.0.0, .0. also you can immediately call your internet service provider and ask for uh, the settings uh, what the settings actual settings it, it has to be uh, in that particular field and then save that particular setting and then restart the router to take effect of it. The next important step you should do is immediately log into the router page again with the same login details that you have tried before and then go to the system tools or system settings uh, depending on the router it changes. So system settings change the username and password either both of them or if your router doesn't allow you to change the username then simply change the password to something stronger with minimum 12 uh, digits and something stronger that hackers couldn't guess it and uh, in Infect your router once again. So in this way you have cleared the infection that happened in the internet router. This is the very first step that you can take back the control of your network and all other devices will be secure. The second thing is if you have accidentally installed that particular profile, uh, the safety certificate that they have prompted uh, initially which led you to this video that you could have been infected or hacked by some hackers, then you have to remove that particular profile settings by going to settings in your iPhone or iPhone iPad and then go to general then go to profiles at the bottom of the page and then uh, if there are any profiles installed called safety certificate or anything else then you have to uh, delete that particular profile this way also make sure you are restarting your uh, iOS device in order to take that settings effect so this will prevent the particular hackers uh, from listening to your uh, iPhone and iPads internet activity and all other data transactions that happens there so this is quite serious attack where uh, even though many of the applications that today we use are encrypted through this profile installation they can gain more control over your uh, iOS device. I hope these suggestions have helped you to fix the problem. If it is not feel free to comment below I will happily uh, reply to that comment and uh, will try my best to fix the problem. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.